Hey, Jimmy, are you wondering what to wear we to only a do Browns th game? We only do three questions. Oh, okay. I'll have to save this one. <laughs> Well, this week's boss lady is building an empire a t-shirt at a time. Her journey to designer is unique to Cleveland culture. Meet Emily Roggenberg. How we've ended up from where we started to here um, is kind of the most surprising thing, I would say, but I'm pleasantly surprised. <laughs> This one, I don't know. I might have to keep this one. Cleveland Pride is at the center of Emily Roggenberg's success. The design company bearing her name started in 2016 in the back of a helicopter on this day. I really just wanted to be a part of the parade itself. <laughs> um, and I just thought it would be a great vantage point to be able to go up in a helicopter versus being anywhere down on the ground for photos. So I was trying to kind of build somewhat of a small photography business. And again, when you ask if I knew where this was going to go, I had no idea from that point to now that it would be what it is. The photos she took were seen around the city and sold like crazy. So fast, she decided to quit her job at American Greetings, the one that brought the Indiana native to Cleveland, and go all in, putting her degree in fashion merchandising and design to work. That was kind of the just natural next step for me. I love fashion and styling and all of that. So we started online. Everything was um, on my website. And actually, we started in our apartment, which was very tight for quite a while. She grew into a warehouse, then opened a storefront at Crocker Park in 2019. A second location at Van Aken just opened this fall. So how would you describe your aesthetic? I hope that people see me as a brand that offers this wonderful apparel that is a little bit, you know, sophisticated and cool and trendy, but also is a brand that really stands for something and unites others and cares about others and helps to uplift and empower them. Her social media presence celebrates her girl gang. Her sisterhood designs and collaborations are signature items. The women in her life are her inspiration and she's always absorbing what's new. I've always loved talking about fashion, how my friends style their clothing, you know, just the people around me and what they like to wear. And Currently, she's navigating pandemic supply issues and trying to stay nimble as the business grows. Her mentors, employees, and husband Kyle are critical parts of the team. I always think that it's best to just try to like adjust when you're faced with adversity um, rather than stick your feet in the ground. She tells young entrepreneurs, don't wait. You have to just jump in even if you're not ready. And I know that sounds scary and maybe slightly irresponsible, <laughs> but I really think that there's never going to be a perfect time to launch something, whether it's your whole business, yeah, your brand, awesome. um, or just a collection, you know? You just have to do it. Cute. Well, someday she'd love to see ER expand. CLE is at the core of her boss lady story. My whole business got started because of a life-changing thing that happened in Cleveland and has continued to grow because of the support that the Cleveland community has for its makers and the love that people have for the city here.